Hi everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this little card for you today and I'm going to be using the Bold Background Vintage Roses die set for this project. Now I've already previously die cut out all of the different florals that are part of this die set. I've cut them in white cardstock and then I'm ink blending onto the, onto the die cuts. And this die set actually comes with a layering guide so it makes it super easy for seeing where all of these different pieces go when you have them die cut and ready to layer together. So I went from darkest to lightest when I was adding the inks to these different die cut pieces. So the largest piece there you can see on the left is go going to be the darkest color of pink. And then I'm going lighter as I go through. And so that when I layer these together, the different layers are going to be very obvious because they're going to be quite different in color. And when this um, um, ink that I'm using from Altenew here, when it levels out and seeps into the paper, it changes quite a bit. And you, you'll be able to see that when you can see, when you see the finished pieces and how the dye um, in the ink changes as it dries. So it's kind of cool. And I do really love the color palette here and how these look when they're layered together. So I'm just gonna finish that center piece there with that little bit of yellow. Now this is the largest die that's in the set, in the Bold Background Vintage Roses die set. And of course, this is the, the piece that you're going to layer all of the florals onto. Now I've die cut that from some green cardstock and then I'm just going in with a dark green ink and adding a little bit of variation in color by blending a little bit of ink onto that cardstock in that way. So just to add a little bit of interest and detail to that cardstock. And now here, I'm just going to show you layering the largest floral together for the background. So these are all of the pieces that I had on my Altenew sticky mat when I was doing the ink blending. And now you'll just see me adding these different pieces onto the um, different layers. So this is the base layer and I'm adding these two tiny little uh, pieces on each side. And as I said earlier, you will get a layering guide with this die set. And of course that layering guide makes it really easy to put these these different pieces together. So just going to continue to add that little bit of glue onto the back of each of these small pieces, layer them on, and in that way you just get the most beautiful detail. And then of course you can change these each time you make the cards. You can make your little florals different colors. You can cut these out of colored cardstock. You can actually add foam adhesive between the big layers to make this even even more dimensional. Um, so many things that you could do with this to make it different each time you use it um, and just be really creative with it. And you'll see tons of inspiration with this particular die set from the creative team at Honeybee Stamps. There are so many fun ways and projects that you can do with this die. So love it so much. And there's that finished little bloom. Now, of course, there's additional little blooms that are part of this set as well. This is the smaller one and super easy to put this one together. It just has a few pieces. So there's three pieces so far and then there's just a little centerpiece that I have um, inked in yellow to put that a uh, little bit of contrast in there as well. I'll just add that into that center area and that's going to finish off that little bloom as well. And then there's a few little buds that are part of the background also. And this is the little heart hugs die that I'm going to be using as part of my project today as well. I love this die set. These little critters are so sweet. And so one of the things that I just wanted to talk about today is how you can take tons of different dies and stamps from Honeybee and coordinate them together. And so today I was really focusing on mixing the die cuts from different sets. So this heart hug set is so sweet. It's got these different little critters and I've die cut out the fox. I'm colorizing some of the pieces here with some rusty hinge distress oxide ink. I'm going to color in the little ears or the inner part of the ear with some pink and now I'm going to just go ahead and assemble this sweet little fox. So super easy to put together, um, just really adorable. So love this little guy so much and I just wanted to um, add this little bit of whimsy to that beautiful background by adding this sweet little guy that's part of that heart hug set. So I'm just going to put little bits of glue onto the front of the fox here to add the details in and just using a 
uh, craft pick here to help me position those. And just adding the tiniest little bit of glue to the little areas so that I don't have too much glue on there. And there is a die in the hard hug set for the little eyes and the nose, of course. So I've die cut those out of black so that they just pop off with nice contrast onto that little fox's face. And now I've uh, die cut out this center part here. I've colorized that with that rusty hinge. And I did actually die cut this a second time and I fussy cut out that little tummy area because I wanted that to be white. And the easiest way that I could think to do that using the ink blending technique to color the rest of the fox was just to fussy cut out that little piece where the embossed lines are on the die cut and then add that in with a little bit of adhesive. Now all of the different little bits are done. I can go ahead and start to put the card together and assemble it. I'm going to add these blooms onto the base with some foam adhesive just so that they pop off the background a little bit and give it a little more dimension. So for every one of the blooms, including the little buds, I am putting some foam adhesive on the back and just adding those onto that green base in that way. So just taking my time to make sure that I'm lining that up and making sure that that's in just the right spot and that's what it looks like when it's finished. So really pretty. I love this background die so much. It's so unique and it's just absolutely gorgeous when it's finished. Now I am going to take my liquid adhesive and add some to the back of the large die cut piece here to adhere onto my top folding A2 white card base. And once I have that positioned onto my card base, I'm going to add this sweet little fox in here as well. How cute is he? I absolutely love that. I'm going to pop him up on a little bit of foam adhesive as well. And I'm going to take my clear sparkle pen and I'm going to add just a little bit of sparkle and shine to the blooms on the card with that pen. Just showing you there what that's going to look like in the light there. It is really pretty. It does add just a little bit of extra without being too much. So I'll just finish that up and get that added on there. And that's just a really easy little step to do on any project that really does make a nice difference. I'm taking that light pink ink there again that I used for the florals, and I'm going to add a little bit of pink to the cheeks of my little fox just to give him a little detail. And then I'm going to add three little white dots with my Jelly Roll white pen to each of the two cheeks. Friends, that is basically going to finish off the main parts of my project today. I have listed in the description box below all of the different products that I've used Used, including the sentiment set. I am using the mailbox memos for the sentiment for the front of my card. I chose sending smiles. I stamped that out and then use the coordinating die dice from mailbox memos to finish off that die cut piece. I hope you enjoyed friends and I'll see you again next Friday. Take care and don't forget to get crafty. Bye-bye.